I tried putting a tripod in the tree today. I'm not sure if it's working, but I wanted to talk to you about one of my favorite poet, poets, Ruben Dario. E, and the fact is, is that his work is very much worthwhile, but I'd say that it's often not really looked at by people who are not studying literature. It's only in the study of, of Latin American literature that he's read, but he's worthwhile because his work is so beautiful and it's so metaphysical, it's idealist. You can see some touches of, of German Romanticism and also of, the, of some of the philosophical ideas that, that predate Heidegger and Heidegger's ideas and, oh, I just see a dog walking by. This is very distracting. And I would say, like, using a tree for your tripod <laughs> may not be the best idea. But <laughs> at any rate, um, Ruben Dario also, um, some of his work is intensely nostalgic. He's early uh, modernist, very simple form in, in, on, on paper, in, on, uh, but yet the ideas that are contained, the philosophical issues, are very complex and I would say <laughs> that <laughs> this is extremely strange but just think Ruben Dario and <laughs> he will make you look at life in a different way and new perspectives is absolutely staggering and maybe disconcerting but worthwhile so <laughs> Ruben Dario, Poesia. Translations in English are surprisingly good sometimes. Very nostalgic, melancholy at times. Preoccupation with death, but obviously beauty and idealism as well.